Alright guys, I'm a full-time jewelry seller on Etsy. And here is a few reasons why your jewelry doesn't sell on Etsy. The first reason is you are probably a new seller and you do not have enough products in your store. Selling jewelry on Etsy is very competitive. But the good news is it is still possible to make a living out of it. But you are going to compete against other sellers who has been selling there for years and they usually have thousands of listings in their store. Let me explain to you why having more products matters. Etsy is a platform and sellers list their items on that platform. So it means that there is a total number of listing for each type of products. For example, let's say that you listed 10 golden earrings and uh, let's assume that the total number of golden earrings on Etsy is maybe about 100,000. So when someone searches for golden earrings, what are the chances that your 10 listings will show up in the search results? Mm, compared to another store who has 10 thousands of golden earrings. Well, the store who has more listing than you will, of course, have better chance to show up in the result. So guys, if you have more listings, you will have more chance of being found on Etsy. And also, having more listing gives choices for your customers. If you are selling handcrafted jewelry, Etsy claimed to be a platform for handmade items, but nowadays you can see that the majority of items on Etsy is not even handmade. And in my opinion, if Etsy only allows handmade sellers, well, they are just narrowing their seller base. Let's be honest guys, how many people in this world has time to handcraft their products? Manufacturing products or reselling them is just faster and way faster. I'm not saying that you should not sell handmade jewelry, but it is wise to be doing both handmade and reselling jewelry as well. When I started my business, I was, I was also making my own jewelry. I was making jewelry, then I had to take pictures and list them on Etsy and all the other stuff. I had to manage everything. It's just too much time consuming. It's just two different industries. You either make products or be a seller. This is why manufacturers exist. We cannot be both guys. We cannot be manufacturing our products and selling them at the same time. How long will it take you to handmade a thousand items? By the time you have reached a thousand, well, I will already have listed 10,000 manufactured products. Here's another reason. Is your price are just too high? If you see top sellers on Etsy, they are usually fashion jewelry. Jewelry priced between maybe 20 to 40 dollars. Selling real gold jewelry is slower than fashionable jewelry. Unless you, you gain it some trust, you know. But anything above 100 dollars is usually hard to sell no matter what the quality of your jewelry and the last reason is your pictures uh, and uh, this is usually the most difficult part i know i mean uh, it's hard you may need to invest in a professional camera but i also see some successful sellers just uh, using their phones but uh, i mean they are they are able to create a feel like a theme of fashionable style and trust me they are also reselling jewelry too if you are a woman you have an advantage you can wear simply wear your jewelry and start taking pictures compared to me well i will need to hire someone and and uh, just to shoot some pictures having shots with someone wearing your jewelry is really important uh, people can imagine, just imagine how it looks if they are wearing that jewelry. But if you meet all those requirements and still not seeing sales, the reason is maybe you just started your, your store. And like anything in life, 
uh, it takes times. It also takes times for Etsy to understand what your listing is about. Etsy needs to collect data first, but trust me, you will soon start getting sale. If you do not have enough budget to increase your inventory, just keep working and invest in your inventory. There is really no secret. Some store have inventory worth hundred thousands of dollars or more. Even for me, I invested a total of fifty thousand dollars and I only started to get weekly orders after 500 products. But if I started 10 years ago, uh, when I didn't have much money, I will, I will prob probably slowly collect items for my store and slowly work my way up. So guys, don't be discouraged. You are already brave enough to start your own business. It is already better than the majority of people. I hope you find success and good luck to you.